Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Paul with another video for you. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Elgato foam panels that I just ordered. We're going to install them in the setup and see how they sound. I'll give you my honest review. Let's get into it. Now these Elgato foam panels are supposed to allow for better audio, deadening of the sound, crisper audio, less echo off the walls. Now I have just moved my shelves here, which were on the wall here next to me just recently until today. I moved them today and now we have a nice blank wall, blank canvas to uh, install these Elgato foam panels on. The wall right here might cause some echo. You might be able to hear it right now uh, in my, my voice. We're gonna see if once we get these foam panels installed if it helps the audio kind of soften and deaden it a little bit. Now this is the box that the Elgato foam panels arrive in and yes the Elgato foam panels are a hexagon and so they come in a hexagonal box which I find very very interesting. So we're just gonna slice this open. They are also protected themselves in there. So let's open this. Once we have it open you'll find this little wrap area here and these are going to be what we call the puzzle pieces. Basically, we're going to be constructing the shell, the, the, the skeleton, for these hexagons to enter or be placed on the wall. These are basically a skeleton that we're going to have to build. These, I probably imagine to be clips of some kind. Oh, they're clips. Oh, and this, this is your, your mounting um, frames are what these are. Here's your little booklet. You can take a look at that if you want. But I want to, I want to take a look at this phone. Wow. Now, you can see that this foam is quite large uh, in comparison to me. I was expecting it to be quite smaller. I'm loving these things already. I can't wait to put them up. They are probably, I'm assuming, pretty easy to build. I've seen how-tos and stuff myself, but I'm assuming you just put these together just, you know, like so. All right, so just like that, they connect just like so kind of do that and I'll finish off this one and show you what it looks like just kind of take these two ends right here and you just pop them together with a little bit of force a little bit of finger strength but that's how you get them in there there you have one of your foam panel skeletons uh, your frame if you will the foam then goes on the frame the holes actually go in the foam the, the foam has holes on the back side to hold, have the frame hold it so it's got a high density foam in the back and then it's got this. So here's your frame with the foam. It then goes on the wall with either your mounting clips. You can either nail, screw them in or whatever you want to do. I'm going to use probably some adhesive. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to get these up on the wall. And I'll join you back in a second. For mounting purposes, they actually give you uh, a nice amount of screws and uh, anchors. Or you can also put up, up with this adhesive. I'm going to go with the adhesive just because I don't want to put more holes in my wall suggest before you amount them with the adhesive strips that you use some rubbing alcohol which I have right here um, use that to clean the back of the frame so that way it better sticks to the frame itself I've cleaned them with the rubbing alcohol and then these adhesive strips here will go approximately right there like that you do that to all of them then you can start sticking to the wall now I'm gonna go get a level and I'll be right back I want to make sure it's all level when I put it up all right I have one up I'm going to put the other five up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I made a mistake. I actually used all of the adhesive. You're only supposed to use two adhesives per panel. All right, guys, here's the finished product. I really couldn't find a perfect place to put it, but I think where it is is where I think the best spot would be. Uh, of course, you can always go on Elgato and buy the expansion. They have uh, $40 expansions. You can always get two more if you need per time, or you could just go out and buy a whole nother kit and that'll give you another tw uh, six or a total of 12 for, to, for you to work with. But I don't think you need much more than maybe one plus the extension, unless you're trying to cover an entire wall. But again, I like this. I like how it looks. I think it's sweet. I think it'll really help the audio in here. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Again, I think this review is great. This, this product is so easy to use, so easy to put together. The audio sounds really, really good, I think. Uh, hopefully you guys can tell a difference. So now that I'm back sitting down at my desk in my normal spot, I want to see how this audio sounds. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys are 
feeling if you guys notice a difference in the audio sound quality or not but these this foam right here yeah, I think it definitely will help a little bit so again I, I really think you guys should check out Elgato and all their all their products they make great stuff they do great work and uh, you can find them at Elgato.com or again like I said on Amazon or at some of your local retailers as well all right guys that'll do it for me thanks so much for checking out the content on the channel if you want to see more videos like this make sure to check out the description down below and also please like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and comment in the comment section down below as well thanks so much for watching appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye